my interest in classicism isn't cut off just because it's classical, but because classicism is about a delight and a beauty and a proportion and a harmony, which you don't necessarily find in many contemporary buildings. So I thought this would be a good way, though, to recognize and then encourage more better built buildings. I think the Giraffe's Prize is particularly interesting because not only do, do we award individual achievements, but also how these in, individual achievements bring something to a reconstruction of the, of the métier, of the craft, of the art of making towns and, and buildings. In a very beautiful way, our jury has selected each laureate with an understanding of a longer-term trajectory, almost like a, a constellation in the sky that's incomplete, and that each laureate fills in that constellation. And rather than seeing uh, the sequencing of our laureates, it's really about painting a larger view of the world. Nobody created anything new or invented anything out of a vacuum. So the classical is the precedent. But we do not really look at that in order to copy it, in order to perpetuate it, no. We look at that as, as, as a background, as a precedent against which we create something new. This is exactly what I find to be fantastically uh, important in, in this idea of the classical. Whether it's urban planning, or teaching, or making architecture, it's all a part of this same sense of the humanistic code as it's revealed in, in three dimensions in the work. Classicism, in its essence, refers to traditional construction, meaning the use of natural materials. Virtually everything you see in the language of building, classicism, is a language of construction. What classicism provides the architect, and particularly the educator, is something teachable, because classical architecture is a system. It's also a system that guarantees a certain base, you know, below which you don't fall. It's capable of great things, but it also prevents you from falling. Nothing else can say that. Modernism never provides a bottom. It's capable of great masterpieces, but since it doesn't provide a series of systems or rules, you fall right through and there is, in fact, no bottom. You know, there's uh, 30 million modernist buildings to uh, prove that. Classical architecture is obviously a language, but it's more than just a language of form because it's anthropomorphic. And classical forms cannot be separated from this anthropocentric root. What the classical language has said over time and can still say in the future needs to be foregrounded. It has been pushed to the side in the last hundred years. The issue is, crucially, can one be modern and classical at the same time? I say yes. Uh, the, the prize really focuses on what impact can traditional architecture have in the contemporary world. So in that way, it's as much a prize about the 21st century as about anything else. One of the great things that Notre Dame and, and Michael Lacoudis have done in administering the prize is to broaden its focus while still being completely true to the values and motivations that were behind Richard Driehaus's decision to create the prize. Usually, architecture is the footprint of a culture. It talks about the culture. You want to know who we are? Look at our history, look at our architecture, and you'll see our footprint in it, our signature. Uh, and this is, this is uh, important because you can see through the architecture uh, what goes uh, in, the, in the human uh, ethos of the time. Most people who are involved in this prize is that they're 
interested in making good buildings in a certain environment, but above all to save a language. I think that's the main thing because we are like the last Mohicans trying to <laughs> save some values which is overriding, which is more important than individual buildings or individual uh, works. Richard got it right. He said, I want people who can design traditional buildings that are contemporary, that meet all the requirements of contemporary life, and that carry forward this continuum, this language, inherited language. Fashions come and go, but the stuff that we are trying to honor and celebrate will be with us forever. I think the elements of classicism and the opportunity to continue developing the classical language is important today um, precisely because it represents our history. Uh, it represents the history of a culture, of a civilization, uh, and recognizing the continuity of that is in fact a humble thing to do. We don't want to lose those essential truths of classicism and the sense of reasons of why it worked for so long. A great building should last for 100 years and could last for 200 or 300 years or longer. So I want architectures to strive for eternity and uh, I'm going to try to make that happen. <laughs>